Hi, my name is Tommy Kelly. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today uh, what I want to focus upon is uh, Jeff Nelson of Vegshaws has actually posted up a video saying that he's doing a competition for to send one lucky YouTuber to the Vegshaws Expo in LA on the 14th to the 16th of October. Your whole flight will be paid, your accommodation, you'll have full access to the Expo and everything. And basically what he's wanting is for me to say why I think I'm worthy of it and obviously at the end of it I'll be linking down the link for the, the, his channel down below and it'll be the, the part with the comments so you, you, if you could go over and like that comment and tell them why you think I should be worthy of doing it guys it would mean so much basically why I think I should be worthy I've had an eating disorder for 19 years which started with the loss of my mum from cancer in 1997 and then I actually went away to Australia to visit my, my family. I was away down to Four Stone at this point, which was really, really dangerous. I come off the plane arriving back at Glasgow and I actually took a massive heart attack. And I was admitted to Gart Naval Hospital. I was in a potassium coma for three months, actually. And I had actually suffered, like I say, a massive heart attack and I was dead for nine minutes. They didn't actually think they were going to resuscitate me, but luckily enough, they inserted a drain into my lung and it got my heart started and this was only a last resort. At that point, actually, before that, I was actually a semi-professional footballer, so I've got a great history of being an athlete and things like that. And it's why I, I, I used to be a personal trainer as well. I've done that for two years back in 2005. So I've got a lot of good nutrition behind me and obviously we, we start, I've suffered relapses in 2005 when my wife suffered ovarian cancer, which had been misdiagnosed as polycystic ovarian syndrome. She'd actually suffered four miscarriages, and the fourth one she actually lost in the toilet. And it was a heartbreaking time for us, so I, the stress and things caused me to have a relapse. And I actually relapsed in 2004 when the loss of my dad. He took it, I had actually been, me and my wife had been caring for him. He'd suffered a massive stroke because of severe diabetes that he'd had for the past few years. He was in a wheelchair because he had his lower part of his leg amputated through diabetes and things. And then obviously he took a massive heart attack and second stroke and he was in intensive care unit for four months. And it was just a matter of time before he went. And I actually suffered a, a relapse then. But I re it really, really pains me because I was never able to recover from my dad and I feel absolutely terrible and I get so upset. But I'm, I'm living every day for the him and the, the memory of my mum and my wife and obviously most importantly for myself. And this year actually I went fully vegan in January this year, which I actually had wanted to for years and years and years. And you wouldn't actually believe it, I actually worked in an abattoir just at the time just before my, my actual eating disorder started with the loss of my mum so it's quite amazing to think that and that I'd wanted to go vegan all along but I was prevented for the past numerous amount of years because of my eating disorder recovery team because it is deemed as been very disordered eating because some people do obviously use eating disorder to they use the veganism to mask their eating disorder as you well know but the way I think I, I, I'm worthy of it is because I've got a lot of experience I can share with people. I feel my, my story, I can really, really help people. And I, I've spoken at uh, Scottish Parliament regarding eating disorders for the Eating Disorder Awareness Week 2016, where I've, I've told my story and also spoke to the NHS here in Scotland about how they could improve their healthcare for eating disorders. Because in, the, in Scotland, basically, you're sent into a, a psychiatric unit and they're, you're basically just sent in there to fatten you up and it's they don't actually deal with the mental issue and eating disorder which is what a lot of people don't understand they think eating disorders are all about weight and things it's not about that it's a coping mechanism to deal with stress in life which can be like me losing a family member it could be getting bullied in life a traumatic event just something that triggers it 
And I also, I'm a, I'm a media ambassador for Be Eat in the UK, which is a national eating disorder charity here in the UK, and also for Men and Boys Eating Disorder Service Scotland. And I've been in various newspapers, this, this, this Daily Record, The Scottish Sun, The Scotsman, quite a few others telling my story. And my YouTube channel, Tommy's Recovery Journal, I'm, I'm on here, and the reason I started my channel was to help other people recover from eating disorders and see that the vegan lifestyle can absolutely turn your life around. For me, it's taken away all the eating disorder thoughts, knowing what, not only what I'm doing is good for my body, but it's also good for the animals and the planet. And I've had great, great feedback, people saying that what I'm doing is really inspiring them and helping them recover from their eating disorder and things. And this is just why I do it. I, I love to help other people. And I feel that if I come over to the Veg Fest, I would learn so much about more things that I can give to the vegan lifestyle and help my own cause and help all my subscribers as well. And just spread the vegan message and learn more about nutrition. That This is what I want to do. I want to grow so much and grow my channel and help people worldwide. And this is what I, I'm passionate about. And I really feel that I'd be really beneficial and I'd, my story... I feel it would, would help others, but like I say, there's plenty of other guys on here that's got inspirational stories, and I, I'm not better than anybody, and that's what I say. A good person, being vegan, or doesn't make you a good person. Being a good person makes you a good person, and there's tons of inspirational people here applied for this, and their stories are even better than mine. So I don't deserve it any better than anybody else, but I just feel that I'd be really beneficial, and I'd really, really help a lot of people, and help a lot of people out recover from their eating disorder and prove that no matter how far you've got, it's recovery is possible. And just to let them know that I don't want anybody getting to the, the stage I got. You've, eating disorders are not a choice. Recovery is a choice. And this is what I want to portray, and that vegan lifestyle can absolutely turn your life around and it's the best thing I've ever did. I'd, I'd love to have this opportunity to come. I've never been able to travel because of my illness and things like that. I've spent many years lost because of eating disorders. You isolate yourself away from family, friends. I've lost many things. I lost my football career. I lost my, my job. I've lost all my family members and things through illnesses. Luckily enough, I've got the best supportive wife in the world and I love her to bits. She's my absolute rock and I thank my, my life so much. Every day you wake up and you feel that heartbeat is another re reason to keep going and to wake up and do good for other people. That's what I want to do and spread the, the vegan message, help others recover from eating disorders. There's plenty of people out there worse off than myself and I, I know that only too well. People say I'm inspirational and things that far from it, the, the real inspiration of people are the people that's fighting terminal illness every day like my mum and dad did. My mum suffered terminal cancer like I say, my dad was suffering with a stroke, they fought for life every day and with a smile on their face to help other people and if they can do that there's no excuse for me not to be able to do what I do and that's how I live. I live by their morals. People out in the wars fighting for their freedom, doctors saving lives every day, that's real inspirational people. I just would love to have this opportunity because I've never been able to travel, like I say, and I would, it would really, really help me to help myself and other people as well. And to obviously to ask a lot of questions that my, my, my viewers would like answered would be absolutely great. I, I really, really thank Jeff Nelson for this opportunity. It was, it's an absolutely great thing he's doing and it's going to help the, a, a, a lot of people and especially the person that wins it. And thanks very much guys and I hope you can support me in this and please go over to the channel with a link down below. See how you think I should go because it would mean me a lot to me and to obviously to help you guys as well. Thanks very much and remember binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. And remember guys, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.